Maybe some of the more familiar names in this course will surprise you. Adam Smith, wasn't that the founding father of the ideological current of thought called liberalism? And Karl Marx, wasn't that the man who gave us socialism and communism? Is this a course about great sociological thinkers? Or is it more about the thinkers who constructed those influential ideological currents, liberalism, socialism, conservatism? Now, those three ways of looking at modern society still exist today. And yes, it is true that Adam Smith is seen by modern liberals as one of their heroes. And that on the 1st of May, the military parades in communist countries take place in front of enormous portraits of Karl Marx and his friend and collaborator Friedrich Engels. So the intellectuals that we discuss in this course try to understand the great transformation that is taking place in front of their eyes. They are trying to make sense of it, of course, but at the same time, they try to discern what may be progress and what may turn out to be a dangerous development. They saw ugly potentialities in modernity. They depicted them sometimes in the darkest colors. They also tried to come up with solutions for those problems. Let me give you an example. Alexis de Tocqueville is afraid that American equality may lead to the dictatorship of the majority. He is scared of that and he also thinks about ways to avert those dangers. He says, for example, it may help to have a free press. So these intellectuals ponder the dangers of modernity and the possibility to find solutions. And they never hide their moral position. On the contrary, they are rarely reluctant to show their ethical preferences and their political predilections. So yes, in a way, the precursors of the social sciences were not cool, they were not detached, they were very, very concerned. Liberalism is the ideological current that stresses the ties between people who freely engage in what they hope will turn out to be mutually profitable relationships. Socialism accentuates the ties between dominant and dominated groups. It's about differences in economic and political power. Conservatism lays a heavy accent on the ties of tradition, religious rules, family, language, the integrative force of a broad social consensus on norms and values. Those three fundamental answers to the question how human societies remain, you know, glued together over a long period of time can be found in political discourse and also in the writings of the founding fathers of modern social science. In fact, there was a lot of interaction going on between the ideological debate and the discussions about sociology between the, the proto-sociologists, you know, just at the moment when the discipline had not yet become an institutionalized university science. It's only in the 20th century, with authors like Max Weber and Norbert Elias, that social scientists try to differentiate between statements about how the world is and about how the world should be. Max Weber wrote in a relatively abstract way about the necessity for social scientists to try to control their political preferences, at least when they are teaching and might be tempted to abuse their superiority as professors in the classroom, forcing on their students some of their own political opinions. Norbert Elias said that every social scientist is confronted with problems of involvement and detachment. We should realize, he says, that what we hope and wish may hinder us in observing what is actually happening. So in the 20th century, sociological thinkers became more aware and more prudent in dealing with their own ethical and political preferences, even their half-conscious prejudices. This does not mean 
that social scientists who believe that it is their duty to take a position in the current political debate have completely disappeared. On the contrary, they are still there. They are a minority, but a vocal minority. Yet, the innocence of those 19th century theorists who, without much reflexivity, mixed their scientific statements with ideologically colored statements, that kind of innocence, that has disappeared.